the Indian Navy's next-generation aircraft carrier INS Visual. The major subsystem in the carrier, that's the aircraft launching system and the length of the aircraft carrier is completed. Both US and India will soon finalize the propulsion system. Richardson, according to the Reuters report, revealed that one of the crown jewels of American carrier technology highly coveted electromagnetic launch technology that allows heavier planes to take off from the carrier flight deck was part of the talks. Richardson offered that all of those things are on the table. There are possibilities. It's a matter of pacing. It's very new technology for us. The proposed design shows the aircraft carrier has a length of some 280 meters, with two EMAL launchers developed by the U.S. Major General Atomics. Some also confirms the aircraft also features the advanced resting gear made by the same GA. Those systems can capable to launch and erased lighter aircraft like surveillance UAV to heavy fighter jets like F-35. Those carriers are smart nowadays capable to launch small aircrafts like UAVs to heavy fighter jets and support planes like E2D for airborne early warning. In the earlier operated the assisted launching carrier INS Vikrant Jr., who decommissioned in 1997. It's the second time that in going to operate the assisted launching carriers. INS Vishal comes with two launching points to simultaneously launch two aircrafts, both can capable to launch aircrafts weighing from 1 ton to 32 tons. The F-35C is one of the heaviest fighter can be operated from aircraft carrier whose MTOW reported close to 32 tons. The India's current MiG-29K's MTOW reported at some 24 tons. More weight means more power and weapon carrying capability. Emblas is the better replacement for current generation steam catapults operated by both U.S. and French navies today. The EMAL has lower operating costs, require fewer people to operate, improve catapult performance and expand the range of manned and unmanned aircraft that the aircraft carrier can launch. INS Vishal almost close to the same length of current INS Vikramaditya. Both will have the length of some 280 meters. However performance-wise the Vishal is far better than the Vikramaditya. The INS Vishal might comes with the displacement of some 50 to 60,000 tons only, since the EMAL requires less space and power. By assumption the aircraft can carry some 40 aircrafts, which include two to for e to the AEW planes and additionally 10 to 12 ton helicopters like S-70 and EC-725. The capacity is almost similar to the current French carrier Charles D. Hall. The specifications are more enough for the Indian Navy to act as a force multiplier. It's the propulsion system issue is the only problem yet to be sorted out. Once it was cleared the U.S. and India will select a shipyard to start constructing the carrier. The actual progress behind the propulsion based on nuclear reactor unavailable so far. Second Vikrant class aircraft carrier will be built by Cochin Shipyard Limited for the Indian Navy. The first supercarrier to be built in India. The proposed design of the second carrier features significant changes from INS Vikrant, including an increase in displacement and proposals to incorporate nuclear propulsion. At an estimated $5 billion, the fully equipped INS Vishal may be most expensive piece of machinery in the arsenal of India, which wants to match the pace at which China is developing its aircraft carriers. The final cost will also depend on the hardware installed. In India's neighborhood, Pakistan and Sri Lanka don't possess aircraft carriers. An aircraft carrier, complete with fighter squadrons called carrier battle groups, gives the Navy strategic depth in the oceans. The Vikrant class aircraft carrier will be first in India, maybe in Asia too.
to field a CATOBAR catapult launched but rest landing aircraft launch system and such technologies help accommodate heavier and an increased number of aircraft on board. India's existing carrier force uses ski jump ramps to help planes take off and uses wires to slow them down when landing. For that, planes have to be lighter and fewer. The exact shape, size and displacement of the carrier will depend on the equipment we fit onto the aircraft carrier. We're still looking at a lot of possibilities. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.